In a new interview, Janae Aiko reflected on the exciting news of her Grammy nominations coming at the same time she learned her uncle had died of COVID-19. During Friday's episode of The Late Late Show with James Corden, the Chilumbo artist described the time as reflective, surreal, and bittersweet. Aiko recalls being on a trip in Carmel, California when Grammy nominations were being announced in November 2020. Unaware that the announcements were coming, she woke up to missed congratulatory texts and calls. I was like, whoa what happened, Aiko told Corden. After getting off the phone with her manager, excited by the news of two Grammy nominations with one more to come, Aiko received sad news about a family member. At the same time, I was getting messages from my family because I found out my uncle had passed from COVID, Aiko said, that same moment. Aiko recalled the moment saying her room was overlooking the ocean and that the mix of good and bad news was a dreamlike experience. It was just, kind of, reflective of life, you know the ups and downs that come simultaneously sometimes, Aiko said. Aiko has three Grammy nominations from her most recent project, Chilumbo, Best R&B Performance, Best Progressive R&B Album and the one she's most excited about Album of the Year. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, the R&B artist will have to wait a bit longer to find out if the nominations will turn into wins. Music's biggest awards show, which had been scheduled for January 31st in Los Angeles, will no longer take place this month because of rising COVID-19 cases in California. The Recording Academy now aims to hold a ceremony on March 14. In 2014, Aiko received three Grammy nominations including Best Urban Contemporary Album for her debut EP, Sail Out, and Best Rap Sung Collaboration for a feature on Common's song, Black Magic. Her collaboration with rapper Big Sean, both musically and romantically, has also received attention. In an interview with USA Today's Patrick Ryan, Big Sean talks about why the two work so well together. It's undeniable. Her writing is crazy good and some of the stuff she says blows my mind.